much in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. Coming up next, a UFC welterweight division matchup. Well, there is no denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kicks. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man. But as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he hides very well as he follows with a jab right hand left hook. High kick comes over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it. He will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. Well, this is about as decorated a kickboxer as has come into this division in some time, DC. And if we get a kickboxing match tonight, he ain't losing. He is a championship-level kickboxer, a guy that can stand in the pocket and trade and kick and punch with anyone. He's constantly throwing things from as close as you can get. He's comfortable throwing leg kicks. He will drive knees into your body, but it's the aggressiveness and the ability and willingness to stand in the pocket and trade that makes him truly, truly special. I think that is what separates kickboxing, the high level yeah. one, from everyone else. He understands distance as well as any striker in this division. Of course, that is a byproduct of a lifetime of repetitions in the kickboxing space. Our tale of the tape for this welterweight fight. More than a decade separates these two fighters when it comes to the age with similar height and the same reach. To get us started, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 21 wins, nine losses, and one draw. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Brasilia Distrito Federal, Brazil, Vicente, the silent assassin, Luke And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. The Warrior! All right, you're going to the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. Outstanding matchup of strikers. Any chance this thing hits the canvas tonight, Jim? I don't believe so. I think when you have two high-level strikers like you have in these two men, they're going to go to the center of the octagon, and it's going to be a kickboxing match. A kickboxing match that you would see in a ring. Tonight, you get to watch it inside of an octagon. All right, going for the early takedown, and he gets it. So no surprise, he wanted to get this fight to the ground. And that is certainly a good sign for him moving forward in this fight. He felt as if he had a massive advantage in the grappling and the wrestling. He was able to secure that takedown very early in the first round. Back to the feet now. Big punch lands through the middle. Oh! Now go 
goes in and secures the takedown. Big elbow there. Back to his feet. Oh, misses with the jab. Landed a big kick there. Well, you admire the effort there, but the left punch counter is no good. Good punch lands. Oh, he lands another takedown here. Just doing a nice job not telegraphing his shot. Oh, nice headlock. his back. Nice offense from the bottom. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Nice head kick. Big cut lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? All right, so once again, the fighters engage in the clinch. We'll see who will have the upper hand here. Chief. There are so many options to dictate and control this exact position. Who is gonna take advantage of it? Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, just misses with the kick. Under a minute now to go in the opening round. Oh! Oh, straight right. And there comes the separation now. See if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work. But he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough that your chin is. Falls up with a nice right hand. Nice. Oh, massive kick. Everything behind it. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. We go. Oh! Mixes in an elbow for good measure. Whoa! Ooh, diving punch lands. News hurt. Oh! Huge right hand. hand! Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground tonight. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Oh! Holy smokes! He put it to sleep! Good is that right hand. Oh, big elbow. Oh! He got him! Yeah, that was just a gorgeous shot to end the 
fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. Well, another highlight for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was landing great strikes, kicks, punches. He was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight. So a strong candidate for some bonus money there. A huge knockout for him here tonight. Near perfect execution. They'll be talking about this result for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliano calls a stop to this contest at three minutes, 13 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, the Warrior. And coming up next, it's a UFC welterweight division matchup. Well, he debuted in the UFC back in 2008. He started 0-2 inside the octagon, and yet Rafael Dos Anjos worked and evolved, went on to become the UFC's lightweight champion when he defeated Anthony Pettis at UFC 185. RDA, as they call him, now plying his trade as a welterweight. We'll see how it goes for the Rio de Janeiro-born Dos Anjos here tonight. All right, so here he is, one of the more prolific takedown artists in the UFC at present. And when you get some praise from Daniel Cormier, when it comes to your offensive takedown game, you know you're doing something right. And we talk about wrestlers and judo players and grapplers, but this guy just combines all of that. He is able to use foot sweeps from the grappling game. He is able to use throws from judo, and he's able to use wrestling in the, from the wrestling game to take people down. He has an array of takedowns at his disposal, and he uses every single one of them from the speed of the level change to the timing to the knowledge of where to go next when the guy starts to defend, he's truly, truly something special. I don't think he could take you down, but tonight he doesn't have to. So he does not in have this to. matchup, prevailing wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the canvas. Our tale of the tape for this welterweight fight. So more than 15 years, the gap in age between these two fighters, some differences in height and reach as well. We send it inside the octagon. The veteran voice is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 32 wins, 14 losses. He stands 5 feet 8 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, Rafael Dos Anjos. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. The Warrior! You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves is making fun. So here we go, round one of this highly anticipated tilt between the 
strong striker and the decorated grappler. Any chance that these guys mix it up, or are you just expecting them to stick to a battle to the dance? I'm expecting a pretty straightforward approach from both of these fighters. The striker will try to lead with his punches and his kicks, and the grappler will try to time a takedown, time a clinch position so he can start to work towards a lot of those great judo throws that he possesses. Once on the ground, he is in his realm and will start to chase submissions. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Back and forth we go! Oh! Well, it's not due to a lack of effort. He continues to throw, but this is like double-A striking. This is not high level. Yeah, you can't be missing. It takes so much energy to just throw a strike, but to be whipping like this, it only exhausts you because every moment you try to throw to knock the opponent out, but you're just catching air. It, it doesn't feel good. It's also embarrassing. <laughs> just over three minutes to go, round one. He has a commitment to kick it. Nice right done. Show. Gets the double leg takedown. Oh, it looks like he's transitioning to an armbar. You cannot stay in the guard of these great jujitsu guys. Got to be careful, armbar. Oh, man, that was slick. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by RDA. All right, close guard now. Back to the feet now. Big kick land. Oh, nice land there with the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge in reach. Slam with the inside leg kick. Oh! Massive kick to the head. Oh, both. Both land. Oh! Oh, straight right. up now and now the damage is about to start 45 seconds remain in the round gets the elbow up into the target by right, working inside his opponent's guard here you cannot sit in these jiu-jitsu guys guard and you can't have one arm in one arm out guys who start throwing up legs chasing triangles well he's more than content to work off of his back dc where he has been a magician in his ufc career Joe Sancho's got caught by that elbow, or so it appeared. Yes, he did. All right, so next round is underway after he came very close to submitting his opponent in that previous round. He came very, very close to getting that finish, but he wasn't able to get that little extra squeeze. Wow! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. High-level MMA defense there, able to avoid the punch. Nice job by Dos Anjos. Back to the feet. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh, nice pop there from the crowd as he finally gets the takedown. He skates. Now the guy's got arm bar. He's attacking it on him. Attacking arm bar. Oh! oh, Johnny picked him up and he slammed him, and he ends up in side control. Now he's in no danger of a submission. How about that? He's like, you go here, my arm's free, and now he's got plenty of room to operate here out of side control. I see this now. 
Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two, much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. Get him with this hit into that kick. Trying to establish that jab once again. Trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo style, Blocked. he gets denied. Blocked! Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. Oh, caught him flush with the head kick. What a kick. He's got him up here. Oh, big knee! He's getting lit up right now, John. to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. And that is some volume on the inside leg kick for the Brazilian Dos Anjos. Just misses with the straight left hand. Entertaining scrap so far. All right, so there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned a huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this fight. You ready to fight? Ready. Third round underway. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Oh, he might be in trouble here after that big diving punch. Look at the turtle in that kick. Nice leg kick lands. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Big punch lands through the middle. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Takedown defense holds up. Oh, single collar tie here. Nice defense there. Huge block. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Oh, he landed another great shot to the body there. Really starting to connect at a high percentage now in the latter stages of this fight. Plus right hand is true. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Beautiful kick. Switching stances here. Oh, man, look at that. Picture perfect. Got to the leg, got to his position, got another beautiful takedown. Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. Well, the Octagon, not a great place to be when you're looking for a rest or a stool. His stamina has been a huge issue tonight. It's abandoned him, but he did it. He tried. He fought as hard as he could for as long as he could. Now it's about survival. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Head kick there blocked by Dos Anjos. Oh, big roundhouse attempt, just misses. Hurt. 
All right, so there's the end of the round. The storyline over those previous five minutes, volume takedowns, offensive wrestling. Yeah, this is an exhausting type of fight, not only for the offensive fighter, but also for the opponent. Always being under attack, always being defensive, always reacting starts to really wear at your gas tank. It's interesting to see who is more fresh going into the next round. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Oh, wow, that happened quickly as the fighter reverses position there on the ground. Unbelievable position change. Wow, what a transition. Drew it up, but a huge result for him here tonight as he gets the win by way of knockout, and that's about as good a one-strike finish as we've seen here in the UFC in recent memory. I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, so a big, big win for him here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched him. I mean, a competitive fight that one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight, but both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart one guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. Now we go inside the octagon. Ladies first and buffer with the official decision. Gene is going to stop this contest at 54 seconds of round number four. Playing the winner by knockout, Rafael Dos 